Hi, I'm Allison Bell, Director with 31 Gifts. I wanted to make this little video um, as a recap for the Celebrate and Connect meeting that um, just some touch points, some food for thought for you to think about. So first things first, we always like to celebrate, right? We celebrate, encourage, and reward. I love celebrating our hostesses, and I love celebrating my team. So what things are you celebrating? Um, on our Zoom call last night, we talked to some consultants, and we have some um, new jobs. We're celebrating um, a bachelorette party, back to school for some. Maybe you accomplished some kind of goal with weight loss, or you bought a new house, or you got to clean your bedroom room today. I mean, that is a good goal. So just think about what you're celebrating today. Um, now, as far as your business, think about what things you want to celebrate. What goals do you have in mind for the fall selling season? So maybe you would like to have one party a week or two parties a month, or maybe you would like to add to your team or just share. Think about it as this, just sharing your opportunity, the opportunity that was shared with you, sharing it with some of your friends and family, or maybe that that lady at the party who just is asking a lot of questions and she has a long wish list. Maybe you need to share the opportunity with her. So we'd like to say have three contacts a day. So that could be one at your party, one at the playground, and maybe you texted somebody the opportunity. And then, so three contacts a day, one party a week, and then one recruit a month. And that goal, 311, is a great formula for success if you just think about it. But the three contacts a day is really the most important um, first step. And these contacts can be little. You could be in the grocery store and say to someone, oh my gosh, I love your 31 purse. Do you have a consultant? I am um, a consultant. Here's my information and let me grab yours. Um, and I'll give you a call for a, a send you a catalog or something like that. Um, so those three contacts a day just kind of keep your wheels turning and, and keep things moving. All right, so next we're going to talk about what matters most to you. So what is the most important thing in your life but also in your business? So maybe it's God first, family second, 31 third. Um, I know for me it's definitely God and family are the most important. So when I'm running my business, I always listen to God. He, My faith in Him determines the path I take with this business. So I always listen to him and he always provides. Um, but but most importantly, my family is important. So I try not to let 31 in interfere with my business. I work my party schedule around my family. My kids are in soccer. I try not to do parties on the weekend, on Saturdays, because I do not want to miss their soccer tournaments or their soccer games. So that those two things really run my business. So if we're talking about the next chapter in our life, whether it's the next chapter in your life in general or the next chapter in your life with 31, what is that? What is the next chapter in your life? I know for me, it's really team building. I've been doing this for five years and I'm, I've am i got my sales and I continue to book my party, but I really wanna focus on team celebration and on team building. So that is the next chapter in my life. What is the next chapter in your life? So as for that next chapter, what are the three or the three to four things that you want to go to to get to your next chapter? So just jot down three to four things, three to four action steps that you want to take to get to that next chapter in your life. So maybe it's something like 311. I, I'm going to set a goal to make three contacts a day, book one party a week, and one recruit. So that means your three contacts a day, you need to be sharing. Um, maybe your goal is to just book a party. Maybe your goal is to just have one party. Or maybe your goal is to think outside of the box or step outside of your comfort zone and get on the phone and call people um, instead of texting or have a face-to-face -face conversation. All right. So Write down some of your goals for the season. Um, write the three to four action steps or the goals that you want to take for your business. Now, we're going to talk about having a fall preparation party. If you didn't already know, right now you can get um, a consultant presale bundle. So this is our October special, which is coming up. And you can see some of these right here um, are holiday. See the holiday um, special shopping guide? So as a consultant for $17, you can get the um, holiday presale bundle in your back office. Now, when you get that box 
and you're unwrapping it, I want you to put a camera in front of you. Put your phone in there, flip the screen around, and I want you to do a live video on your um, private customer group. And I want you to unveil and unwrap the surprises of the holiday to your customers. And I want you to say to them, who wants to take advantage of some of these cute little holiday deals that we have? And just make it really exciting um, an unveiling for our fall products. So do something like that. I also have an app, um, a picture I borrowed from someone. And it's basically this with a big, like, circle around it so they can't see and it says who wants to be the first to see the new holiday line call me to book a party um so just make it myster mysterious all right so do that maybe you're booking a fall launch party get some holiday parties in line um and get some fresh new ideas for some of these parties maybe you do like I don't know, um, cinnamon spice and clutch party or pumpkins and purses or you move into the holidays. So just think of some cre creati creative ideas or go on a Pinterest. There's always some good stuff on there. But in closing our little um, meeting, we're going to talk about hostess coaching. This building, this this business is about relationships. It's not about the purse sales or the jewelry sales. It is about relationships. So building relationships with your hostesses and your customers and your teammates are the most important thing. So hostess coaching is something that is so important in our business. It's the start of a relationship between you and your hostess that is going to build your business. So I'll do some Zoom calls and some training on hostess coaching. I don't really wanna get into it right now, but basically making three to four contacts with your hostess before you even party with her so that you can let her know how this party is gonna go and she can be inviting and getting pumped up and excited for her party and just spreading the excitement through to her guests so that when you get there, everyone's really excited and anxious to see everything that you have to bring. So there you go, better together. Remember your 311 contacts, your hostess coaching, and set those goals and those action steps for your fall selling season. See you guys.